von Willebrand disease is the topic. And von Willebrand disease is a very interesting hereditary disorder. And it is autosomal dominant. And essentially, the key aspect of this is that it's a deficiency in a very important factor and that factor is appropriately named von Willebrand factor and we'll refer to it as VWF and this factor is involved in platelet adhesion so if you have a deficiency you'll cause platelet dysfunction now I wanted to talk further about the pathophysiology of what's actually happening in von Willebrand disease essentially this von Willebrand factor uh, promotes the proper adhesion of platelets and what this does is allows the platelets to bind together and form a blood clot and that's of course very important uh, for hemostasis to prevent bleeding when you have a defect in, in adhesion that's where you get problems such as bleeding in various uh, conditions so the key take-home point is that it's a defect in the adhesion of platelets to a vessel wall what are some of the scenarios in which you will find um, a patient presenting with uh, von Willebrand disease? Well, of course, the clinical vignette will probably talk about some sort of bleeding, either mild to moderate bleeding. But just wanted to give you a heads up of what are some of the scenarios. The person may have some sort of mucosal bleeding, for example some sort of small skin cut that had uh, a lot of bleeding involved menstrual bleeding this is a very common uh, clinical presentation heavy menstrual bleeding and also bleeding after uh, some sort of uh, surgical or dental procedure it's very common and then one other one that I wanted to mention that's very important is the postpartum bleeding. So bleeding after, say, a few weeks of, of uh, delivery. Uh, the postpartum period is um, susceptible for an episode of heavy bleeding if a patient has von Willebrand disease. So let's talk about the diagnosis. There are quite a few players involved. Von Willebrand factor, factor 8 levels, PT, which is of course prothrombin time, PTT, which is partial thromboplastin time, and BT, bleeding time, platelet count, And we'll throw in an INR in there just, in, just to make it complete. Now each of these is measured and each of these has a very specific result. So the von Willebrand factor for most cases of von, von Willebrand disease will be low. Factor 8 levels will also be low and the reason is because von Willebrand factor is required to maintain normal levels of factor 8. So there's a connection there. PT is unaffected so it will be normal. PTT however will be increased, bleeding time will be increased, platelet count is normal that's a very important part of the uh, lab values to distinguish it from other bleeding disorders and INR will also be normal. So keep this in mind these these players will be abnormal while the rest are normal. So now we'll talk a little about the treatment. Well, for most cases, to prevent uh, minor bleeding, you give a medication called desmopressin. And what this does is it helps to stimulate the release 
of von Willebrand factor and um, from the origin which is the endothelial cells into the plasma and that will of course be uh, very beneficial. Another way of uh, treating uh, von Willebrand disease is a little bit more um, elaborate and that is replacement of von Willebrand factor just giving it in the form of a concentrate and the concentrate is known as factor 8 concentrate now as the name implies it of course includes factor 8 but it also contains von Willebrand factor just in case you're wondering so those are the two ways of of treating von Willebrand disease. Let's take a look at some vignettes now. A 10-year-old child presents with uh, prolonged bleeding following a dental extraction. The child is referred to a hematologist. Evaluation of the child's hematologic parameters demonstrate prolonged PTT and elevated bleeding time. Which of the following platelet abnormalities would most likely be found in this child? Well, question doesn't really give you that much information, but if it is indeed von Willebrand disease, what is von Willebrand disease talking about? What is the main problem? Well, the main problem, of course, is that there's a defect in the adhesion of platelets to the damaged, damaged vessel wall. So the key word is adhesion and all these other ones are describing things that of course are not related so the answer to this question is B and the last one big long question 27 year old woman gave birth to a 7 pound 5 ounce baby boy vaginal birth was normal and everything seemed fine but 26 days after the baby was born the mother began to have heavy vaginal bleeding Husband called 911. Ambulance brought her to the nearby trauma facility. They managed to stop the bleeding, but she had lost so much blood that they gave her two units of replacement and admitted her to the hospital. There, the attending physician noticed she had many bruises on her legs, arms, and trunk, making them think abuse. But he took a careful history, starting with questions, how did you get these bruises? Have you or any of your family ever had bleeding problems? She replied, the bruises just appeared. But I always did bruise easily. As to bleeding problems, I can't remember anything remarkable except I used to have bloody nose on a regular basis so much. So I sometimes miss school. School nurse asked me to stop picking my nose even though I th didn't think I did. Physician also asked, how about your menses? She replied, no real problem. They occurred on a regular basis with minimal cramping, but I did lose a lot of blood. However, my family doctor told me not to worry about it since my mother and grandmother had heavy bleeding during their periods. Thus, it must simply be a familial trait. On the basis of this information, which of the following conditions does this lady most likely have? Well, this is a tough question because it doesn't really give you much information, but let's go through the answer choices. Hemophilia A and B are sex linked. And as so, sex-linked recessive they tend to be rare in females hemophilia C is actually very rare and so is Bernard Soulier syndrome and it's actually Bernard Soulier is actually involved in a low platelet count of the five choices this is the most common so just based on the wording of the question, the answer is E. But let's take a little closer look at the vignette. She basically has had a pregnancy, and she delivered just a few weeks ago. And what happens in von Willebrand's disease is that you are more likely to have a episode of heavy bleeding. It's actually known as a hemolytic crisis a few weeks after giving birth and that is very characteristic of uh, von Willebrand's disease and 
The reason is because in patients with von Willebrand's disease, there can be a decrease, an exaggerated decrease in the levels of von Willebrand factor um, a few weeks after they give birth. So this uh, question is describing that type of a scenario.